65. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm really serious that you know that a lot of people's incomes are low nowadays and we're living in a, a time where people don't have as much and they're cutting back on things like fruit and vegetables for themselves and their children because of the expense of it. That, that and the financial aspects of it, you know, maintaining some of the um, bigger items in the garden, it, it makes it difficult. It was started with a grant and so the funding and the labor are probably our biggest challenges. Really it would be almost impossible for them to keep making the improvements that they do here without that fund. Mm -hmm. it really would. One of our biggest challenges was with dealing with the fact that we didn't have soil here. So we opted for raised bed gardening and thanks to the sustainability program we've been able to get through this program some better quality lumber which means our beds are lasting longer. Getting a uh, soil that uh, we need the soil, we need the, the wood chip for ground cover. Uh, we need the trans transportation uh, to, to move the, the workers, uh, to move plants. So there are a lot of uh, things that, that money can do to make this flow. It brings the people in the community together because from time to time they will all gather. You know, it was always like it was always a, it was always a gathering in the evening. Uh, in the garden, you know, folks talking and changing news, and then and you'd have it, you know, and then changing what they grew. I grew this, and you grew that. So it, yeah, that is effective, you know. It's brought an awareness and a connection between so many people and and places in our community. It's just a win all the way around. I think sometimes we don't see all of that. The important thing about community garden, as opposed to just having your own backyard garden, is you tend to share with people. You share knowledge, effort, resources, mm -hmm. which is an important part of community garden. It's sort of like getting back to sort of like being community. We have a whole course in uh, everything, uh, all if the things out here that you can eat the, uh, uh, from the uh, uh, personal uh, to the uh, plantain, to the, the, the burdock root, to the, you know, to the a yellow duck, you know, so we teach them that kind of thing too for survive what you can eat. We have been, been able with this bountiful location and the support of, uh, of our sponsors to be able to give away food. Okay, we've, we've benefited 25 families each, each year in terms of our surplus. You know, people say, oh, these little tiny vacant lots, what can you do with them? This is exactly what you can do with them. You know, and it, it's done so much. It's feeding people. It's bringing people together. It's, it's improved the property value.